confessions of a thirsty thinker. Cheers. Hello. Today our topic is 10 things men are dying to know about women. So, I'm going to give you my perspective on these. The first one is, why does my ex keep trying to be my friend? The bottom line is, if she really wants to be your friend, it's because she, she's kind of worn her way back in. She still has feelings for you, and she still wants to be a part of your life. Whether you want her in that aspect or not, she wants to be in your life in some aspect. Um, really, yeah, that's all I can say about that. Because if, if, if they didn't want to be with you, they, they wouldn't even want to be your friend. And unless you were friends before. If you were friends before, you guys were friends and it developed into something else, then she might want to go back to that. But that's a hard thing to do. No matter what. Okay. The second question is, what's the best way to approach a beautiful woman? A lot of times beautiful women don't get approached because guys are intimidated by her or they want to approach her with a bullshit line so just approach her with honesty no matter what women want you to be sincere they want you to be legitimate so um, approach her and tell her I think you're beautiful I think you have gorgeous hair I'm not trying to play a line on you I really want to get to know you because you're beautiful on the outside I want to see if you're beautiful on the inside too that's a good line try that one <laughs> let's see body image what part of a guy's body do women like the most it varies some women are really into butts some women are into abs I personally am into the whole shoulder arm thing if you've got mm, sexy shoulders and arm masculine that's cool to me some chicks they're into different things so it it just varies some chicks like skinny guys some chick, we're just like you guys just like you guys the same some of y'all like healthier chicks some of you like really skinny chicks we're the same we're all different so you can't really just put it in a bracket and say oh you know we all like big penis there was a guy I know and he was sleeping with so many women and a friend of mine was like oh you must have a golden penis but honestly you've got to have really good stick you've got to have something that's attractive before we ever see your penis so that may keep them there but that's not what's going to get them there unless you're like flashing it around and then I promise that's probably going to be a turn off just saying <laughs> shout out to my boo you know who you are <laughs> Yeah, no matter what anybody says, we're the same as guys in that respect. We like different things. We all do. So, um, <laughs> okay, next question, manscaping. Do women care whether we trim? Already gone off this in another vlog if you watched it. We do. We care. Most of us. You know, it's, it's going to be like men. If you care whether we shave our legs or wax our vaginas, we care whether you manscape. We care whether you trim. Like I've said before, hey, it's a bonus if it makes it look bigger. It might. Do it. You never know. But honestly, ugh, guys with gross hair just hanging out. Ugh, gross. None of us like that. None of us. So, trim it. We're not asking you to shave. We're not asking you to get the razor bumps or blah, blah, blah. But trim it, guys. Come on. All right, hotter hookups. How can I get my girlfriend to be more adventurous in bed? Talk to her. Yeah, if you don't talk to her, she doesn't know. We don't read minds. Hell, she may want doggy style more often. Hey, ho. She, anyway, she might want whatever you're asking for. And you know what? Even if she doesn't, you guys might be able to come up with a compromise. But if you don't talk to her and tell her, 
you're not going to know, she's not going to know. That's the bottom line. You're going to have to talk to her. All right, how long should I wait to call a woman after she's given me her number? Don't play games. Literally, don't. We're the same. So just shoot her a text and be like, hey, just let me know. I'm thinking about you. The date was great. Or uh, I can't wait to go out with you. Thanks for giving me your number. Balls in your report. Text me when you're ready. Something. Initial contact doesn't matter. Now, don't blow up her phone. Don't send her text after text after text. Don't do all that. Then you become that guy. Psycho. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. You don't want to be that guy. That's too much. Too much. Alright. What's the best way to impress a woman on the first date? Mm, again, all of us are different. There's no definite niche, but just be courteous. Listen to her. If she wants to know something about you, then tell her. Um, I don't, yeah, you can bring flowers or whatever if you want. That's not really necessary. Just open the door for her. Be courteous. If she's one of those, I can open the door for myself. Yeah. Annoying, but you know, let her open the door for herself. But at least try first. Try to be a gentleman first. Try to do the things that you're supposed to do the things that your parents should have taught you, open the doors, pick up the tab, you know, at least the first time. Is there a surefire way to tell whether she's into me or just being nice? If she's just being nice, she'll respond to you, she'll smile, she'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, she'll try to be nice. If she's into you, she's going to touch your arm and she's going to flirt with you and she's probably going to maybe say, things that she wouldn't say to a guy she was just being nice to but you know what straight up ask her i'm telling you women like guys that are honest and forthright if you want to know if you want to know if she's into you if you want to know what she's thinking if you want to know if she's flirting ask her are you flirting with me as much as i'm flirting with you because i really think you're cute i'd be like mm, yeah I'm flirting with you. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Why can't I give my girlfriend an orgasm during sex? <clears throat> Women are different than men. We're wired differently. Um, our orgasms start here. We like to be mind fucked, if you can understand what that means. Um, we like the, the emotional, the connection the you've got to make her feel comfortable to just let go if a woman's like really insecure and she's really like um, nervous it'll be hard for her to let go because she wants to please you so you've got to make her feel comfortable make her feel beautiful make her feel sexy and then she'll want to open up and she'll release so do what you can do in that respect and that goes for a first date 20 dates, 30 dates, or 30 years. Women need this. If you're a jerk to your girlfriend all day, she's not going to put out all night. Bottom line. Same with your wife. Nobody wants to put out when you beat them down mentally all day. Or if you've made them feel insecure. So make her feel secure. Make her feel wanted. Make her feel sexy. And then when she gets into bed, she'll be like, Okay, I can let go. I feel sexy. And she'll orgasm. And if that's not working, then... Play around with maybe a vibrator and masturbation. She needs to f understand and feel uh, what gives her an orgasm. And for some women, and most women, clitoral stimu stimulation blah, 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 works. So do that. <laughs> and don't stop until she's had enough, if you know what I mean. How can I ex escape the friend zone? This one's hard because no matter how much you want it, if you're in the friend, if you are destined to be in the friend zone, there's really nothing you can do to escape it. Because we kind of know when we first meet you or first talk to you whether you're a potential mate or a friend. So that one's really hard to overcome, and no matter what anybody says, it's hard to escape that. And eventually, sometimes when you're a friend, eventually 
they might come around, but that's a lot of years on a lot of heartache, and you never know. It's not a given. So, I hate that one because it really isn't. So, that is the last one. Those are the questions that I've had from guys that wanted a clear-cut answer. So, I've given you as clear-cut an answer as I can. So, good luck to you. And peace out to next time.